before mm -hmm. when um, we got dressed for the Yucatas yesterday. Ah, oh, you also did that yesterday? Yes. In Kyoto? Mm -hmm. National dress of uh, Japanese culture. How old did they? Uh, I think the basic um, concept is came from China, but um, I'm, I don't really know about the, like that kind of history. I know about like young ladies kimono has mm -hmm. longer sleeve mm -hmm. it's because um, people don't want young lady to play around move too much right yeah. and yeah. When, when you get married you switch up to shoulder sleeves because when you get married, after you get married people expect <laughs> ladies to work more right <laughs> right of course uh, so of course you know with modesty the more restricted you are, the more modest you're expected to be mm -hmm. polite and proper. Yes. Approximately how much do these run to buy them? Um, proper kimono, the whole garb and... Um, this depends on the kimono, but, um... The, um, I know some of the long sleeve ones. Mm -hmm. They are about... Uh, five thousand US dollar 5, between ten thousand US dollars, like um, yeah. So the Japanese people don't really own kimono. Right. We just um, rent when the, whenever we need to uh, for ceremony or wedding. <laughs> Some people own kimono, but it's uh, normally it's. From your grand grandmother, grand grandparents. So it's like passed down. Yes, but we don't really fit in our uh, body type anymore. Right. We used to be very short, like everybody's like my <laughs> my height. <laughs> <laughs> so. and this is also passed down. Um, knowing how to tie and to properly put on the kimono is something that the women would share with their daughters and pass down. Yes. Or do you like learn it formally in school? I went to school. You went to school and yes. learned it? Mm -hmm. But um, if I wanted to, I could um, uh, learn it at home. But um, I don't know if they have it in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like my grandmother, she knows how to wear Maybe my mom um, doesn't know how to wear it. Anyway. So you like history and culture? Yeah, it's good to know them, have the cultural knowledge behind it. It's also informative for the video and for the viewers. Oh, uh -huh. so you do a uh, YouTube mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Do you normally wear simple color? Like, oh, my favorite is purple. Oh. I thought black would look good with the red lipstick. <laughs> yes, <laughs> actually. So, this 
this part, I'm um, a little bit cheating. Mm -hmm. um, we made it, made the obi into more easier to put on. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's a long piece, but we cut it. Um, so this is to help expedite the process. Yes. <laughs> But if you're going outside to wear it, you shouldn't really have this kind of How did the women wear their jewelry with these kimonos? Was it popular wear jewelry or was it very simple style? Because I know the hair would be styled a certain way. Maybe um, like the pale face makeup, but any sort of earrings or bracelets? Not really earrings or bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. No, not jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, we don't wear any jewelry except for hair beads, hair, mm -hmm. flower. Hair ornaments. Yes, hair ornaments. It's not like you, you cannot wear right. um, for you wear um, earrings, not really um, ornaments here, mm -hmm. but earrings, maybe necklace, yeah. still okay. How are some of the problems we have here today? How we, um, you can use Fan, umbrella, and if you want to use sword also. Awesome. <laughs> you want it? Yes. Yeah, good. Ooh, that guy. He's so cute. Who needs to breathe anyway, right? <laughs> Not women. Beauty is pain. She's breathing out women. <laughs> I feel like you belong in Kill Bill. Oh, yeah. Especially with the red lipstick and the black. <laughs> Goodness gracious!